Good evening, everyone. Vloggy Poncho here. Today is Sunday, March 24th. I'm weighing in 179 pounds. And the uh, goal progress is going just going fairly well. I had a pretty good lunch today that included a lot of fruit as well as a peanut butter and banana sandwich. And I wanted to do a jigsaw puzzle this weekend. I did accomplish that goal. I'm uh, not sure if I can really show it to you guys, but I'll try. Let's see if I can get to kind of get the idea of what it is, is a picture of without... It's like a beach scene. I can show you the box. Oh, it's going to have a glare, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Fairly unremarkable beach scene, honestly. That bit at the top where the, the underside of those leaves, it's all black pieces and just jagged lines and stuff. That was tough to do. The, the, whole, the whole beach and the ocean area down here actually took probably less than a third of the time, and that's half the puzzle down there. But, uh, so this was fun. This is the kind of thing that I would really like to do in my free time, and that's what I want to talk about in today's video, is ways to spend your time that sort of satisfy you. I think for a lot of people, we have this desire to have these little achievements, these little goals, these tiny little pieces of pleasure throughout the day. And I think that's the reason that people can get addicted to using Reddit. That's sort of the prime example because, I mean, you say addicted, but uh, you can find yourself reading three or four hundred posts and not realize how many you've looked at. Because each time you view one, I, have, I almost never laugh out loud on Reddit. It's very rare. If that happens, if something particularly hilarious has come up, most of the time it's just kind of like, hmm. Like, oh, okay, like, most times I, I wouldn't think my expression would even change. But when you look at each little post and read each little piece or see each funny photo or whatever, I think you get that tiny little burst of dopamine, like you're getting your fix or whatever. And uh, it just seems like the, that, that happens in a lot of different ways. And that's, that seems like that's how people can get their hobbies. Like, for a lot of sports, if you get, if you do whatever that, the atomic object of that sport is very well, you get a little bit of satisfaction from that. Like if you're playing racquetball and you hit a really good shot that goes just and bangs off the wall just like you wanted it to, like it brings you satisfaction. And when you read that next post on Reddit, it brings you a tiny bit of satisfaction. And then uh, I think for people that read books, it's the same way. So they know that when they put the book down, it's like, oh man, I was on page 54 and now I'm on page uh, 79. I read like 25 pages or whatever. I was like, that's good, that's good progress, you know, I'm getting stuff done. It feels, it feels like you're accomplishing something. For me, mine is jigsaw puzzles, because there's something satisfying about coming at a task that's in pieces and creating something cohesive out of it. Uh, it's, very, it's just very satisfying for me personally, because I, I have a strategy I like to do, of course. Everybody does the edges first, and then, you know, solid blocks of color next, and then you fill in the pieces around. But I think that's the same thing as those other things I listed, where you, you put in that one piece, and there's a great amount of satisfaction that comes from finding that one piece out of the 500 that fit in that place, and just, you know, gently sliding it right into place. It's, it's very satisfying, like a lock fit, uh, key fitting into a lock. So, uh, I'm probably gonna, at some, I, I think my plan for decorating my apartment is going to be jigsaw puzzles. Uh, I think that's what the theme is gonna be. I'm gonna, make a bunch of jigsaw puzzles. And what I'd really like, would like to do is get a coffee table that has a glass layer on top so that I can pick up that glass layer and put jigsaw puzzles under it. I think that, I mean, that would look really cool. Just so it would be you know, a table like this size, maybe big enough for four jigsaw puzzles to go on. And then just be a wooden table and then have jigsaw puzzles on top and then a layer of glass on top of that so you can put your drinks down or whatever and it's on top of the puzzles. And then the glass would just hold the puzzles together so they wouldn't even need to be glued or anything. So that would be, that would be really cool. And then if I have any really good jigsaw puzzles where the picture that you create is particularly attractive, I could put it in frame and put it on my wall or even just use puzzle glue and just hang it up on the wall with a, I guess with like a, some kind of adhesive on the back. I'm not sure exactly how I would do that, but you know, that's the plan. So that's what I did today. That's satisfying. I guess this whole puzzle is 500 pieces, it's 13 by 19 inches, and it probably took me less than four hours to do this today. I'm getting really good at jigsaw puzzles. Uh, I'm, I'm, I have uh, two more puzzles here that I'd like to do. I have another 500 piece, and I have a 1,000 piece puzzle as well. 
The only thing is, I think that 1,000 piece puzzle is too big. I don't think it will fit on this desk. Uh, I mean, when it's finished, it will fit on the desk, but in the process of doing it, spreading out all the pieces would be nearly impossible. I would need to get some more space over here. So that's something I'm looking forward to. When, when I get my apartment, which I, I'm narrowing down my options now, I've been reading more reviews and things and looking at it, I got down basically to two different areas that I'm going to go and eventually visit, look at, and decide which one I want to live in. And, uh, well, I don't think I, I might not get a desk, because a lot of desks are really inefficient. I think I might just get a, a table. And my desk might just be a low table, so I can, I can pull up my computer chair to it, and I can put all my computer stuff under it, on it, and I can put my tower underneath the table. But then when I want to, I can push the monitor out of the way, and I have this big open space to build jigsaw puzzles on. And it's definitely something that I'd like to do in my free time. So uh, that's all I really wanted to talk about this episode. Uh, what is it for you guys? What's your what's your little what's your activity that has these pieces that bring you pleasure, like going on Reddit or or doing jigsaw puzzles or whatever? So I feel like a lot of people have hobbies like that, like reading or whatever else. So if you got one, tell me about it in the comments. I'd be curious to get some more examples. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.